Looking ahead, North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein is in the nation's capital today. He's defending the Affordable Health Care Act in front of the U.S. Supreme Court. It's obviously been a very contentious topic. The court going to be hearing arguments in the latest legal challenge to the national health insurance law. Some 20 million Americans could lose their health care coverage if the court strikes down the ACA. And Stein isn't the only one who will be there. He is part of a coalition between 19 states that are fighting to defend the ACA. Democrats say that so many people across the country depend on the ACA for health care and say it is crucial that it isn't revoked. And while in the past, Republicans like North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis have argued the legislation is constitutional in its current form. But what we have here in the Affordable Care Act is something that is so flawed that the majority of the Democratic candidates for, pre uh, for president all raised their hand and said it needed to be replaced with something they call Medicare for all, which could be Medicare for none. We know the broken promises of if you like your doctor, you could keep it. If you like your health care, you could keep it. What we're not talking about are the thousands of people who were already forced off of their job health care because employers changed hours. And now instead of working one full-time job, you've got to work two full-time jobs because the businesses can't afford it. Well, the court is not expected to make a decision on this for several months.